All right, today we're gonna to go ahead and take a look at the hosting company, actually one of the hosting companies that I've been using for years. This is definitely one of the more popular hosting companies out there. It's a company called Bluehost. Let's go ahead and have a look. So if you go to their website, here it is right here. It's called bluehost.com. Once you get to this page, you can see a little bit about the company. This is just the information you see before you actually log in. So as you scroll through, it looks like right here, there's always a special as far as the types of plans that they offer. Just be sure to click the description below and you can get a link to any kind of special promotions that they're running currently. And right here, you can see on this particular hosting service, it's pretty easy to install WordPress. I don't use WordPress for most of my blogs and websites. However, this is the most popular content management system, so it's likely that you do. If so, it's pretty easy to install WordPress. All you do is just log into your account, go to the WordPress section, you click install, and you're pretty much good to go. Their support, in my opinion, is pretty good. Sometimes they get really busy, so they don't pick up the phone for maybe 10 minutes or so. But most of the time, I can get through pretty quick and get my issue or question answered. Most of the folks that I talk to are pretty helpful. There have been a couple of issues where there were some discounts that weren't actually provided. So that was a little bit more in depth. However, I can say that all of their calls, I believe, are recorded, which worked out in my favor because they were able to go back and correct any kind of issues that I had as far as discounts or pricing goes, but it did take about a month or two for that to be resolved. Money back guarantee, I'm not sure what that is. It looks like if you buy their service, you don't like it, you can get a refund. So I don't have any experience with that. I've never gotten a refund from this company because just because it's always worked out pretty well. When you sign up with them, you get $150 in offers for Google, Bing, and other types of advertisements. Most hosting companies offer that and it's just incentive for you to start running ads with these companies. So let's go ahead and log in and see what it looks like. So the login button's right up here. All you're gonna do is just click on it and this is the login page. Obviously I've shaded out my login information. Uh, you just click submit. All right, so here we are in the control panel. So there's a lot of things in here that I've never actually used. There's only a few portions of this control panel that I use on a regular basis. So up here on the right, that's gonna show your account name. And this is the different options that you have inside of the Bluehost control panel. So here up here at the top, this is probably what they feel are the most used questions. So change passwords, update your personal information, renew account, change some sort of settings. This part here is the marketing. Earlier in the video, we saw that there were $150 in credit. These are those marketing initiatives from these companies. So there's Google AdWords, Bing Yahoo ads. Use both of these. And yeah, the discount is true. They have a couple of different requirements. So just be sure to click the description for more information on that. These other ones I haven't used. I haven't used Constant Contact, SEO, themes, WordPress themes, YP, free listings. I haven't done any of those. The email system is right here. So if you click in here, it'll bring you to the email manager. I don't really use that. I use the check webmail once in a while, but for the most part, when I set up an email, I just have it forwarded to my Thunderbird account. So I wouldn't have to actually log into to this uh, control center or to view my email. I haven't used that, haven't used that, haven't used that either. Actually, I haven't used this one. I thought that I did, but no. This is the one click install for WordPress. This I believe is where you can buy themes for WordPress. I haven't used that. This one I use really often. This is Weebly. When you purchase a domain, Bluehost gives you free access to the basic version of Weebly. This is really an easy and quick way to build a website. We'll go into this later. I haven't used this. I haven't used any of these. The file manager I have used. So I have a shared plan. So I have a couple of hundred different websites and it starts to slow down probably because it's not typical for you to have a few hundred websites. I do. So once in a while I have to go into here and this allows you to clean out any kind of files that you're not actually using. FTP manager, I think I used that once, but that's more of a WordPress thing. So if you're gonna be moving files around with your WordPress, that's where you're gonna use. Domains, I have used this very often because again, I have a few hundred domains. This domain manager allows you to purchase, pause, cancel, and view all the different domains that you have. This I haven't used. None of this I've used. Manage add-on products. I haven't used SiteLock, I don't believe. Weebly, again, I do use that very often. My domains, again, this is where you can take a look at the domains that you have. Down here, as you can see, I have the shared plan plus. I don't know exactly what that entails. Right here is gonna show your main domain when the expiration 
is set to happen. I just renewed recently and upgrade. So if you want to buy more server space or get a dedicated server space, then you would just go through here. So let's go ahead and take a look at the one click install. So we'll go to WordPress right here. All right, so here we are in the Mojo Marketplace. I'm not sure what that means, but it's some sort of marketplace for Bluehost. So this is where you're going to install. So we'll click on one-click installs. These other content management systems I've never used. WordPress I've used seldomly, but have used. So if you're going to install WordPress, you'll just click Get Started. And then you can just choose a domain and then click where you want to install it. I'm not actually going to install this because, I don't. again, I don't use WordPress. Okay, and then it's going to bring you here. Install directory exists and is not empty because again, I have this file, this website here, it's blocked out, but this website already has Weebly files in it. So this is asking to override it. I'm not going to do that, but I just wanted to show you how easy it is to install WordPress onto any one of your domains. So we're going to go ahead and go back to the control panel. All right, so here we are back in the control panel. So I'm going to go to another portion of the control panel that I use often, use Weebly. So I'll just click on there. All right, so here we are in the Weebly portion. So as you can see right here, basic Weebly, that's free. This is what it includes. And then if you want the professional version of Weebly, it's $8.99 a month. It's kind of expensive. So if you go through Weebly directly, it's going to be a little bit cheaper and you have newer platforms. But if you have multiple websites where you just need two or three basic pages, then this is a great deal because again, this is actually included with the price of the domain each year. And then business plan, I don't know what that is. It's probably something to do with e-commerce, but I haven't used that. I just use the basic. All right, so as you can see, once you log in, then it just brings you directly into the working portion of Weebly. This is one of my websites, but again, I've blocked it out just because private website. Anyhow, so yeah, you can make all the changes to your website here on the left. This is all included with the basic, as you can see right here. It's really a good platform to use, really easy. Once you set it up, once you buy your domain and you get it set up, you can have a website up within probably an hour, as long as you just have dedicate that hour to creating the pages and laying the website out to whatever it is you want it to look like. So we're going to close this out. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at the domain list. So you just click up here at the top, click on domains. Okay, so here we are in the domains tab. So this one I use pretty often. So up here on the top left, there's kind of a warning to let you know if any changes need to be made. As you can see, I have quite a few domains that are expiring. Down here on the bottom left, these are the domains that, this is your complete list of domains that you have on this account. Up here on the right is where you can check for domains. So if there's a domain that you want to buy, you just type it in right there and you click get started. Down here on the bottom right is where you can make changes to name servers. So if you decide to buy your domain through Bluehost and then have it, the design done somewhere else or pointed somewhere else, this is where you would make those changes. So for example, if you bought the domain through Bluehost, but your design is through GoDaddy, then you would point your domain to GoDaddy through here. Once you put in a domain up here and click get started, it'll start searching for this domain. Okay, so I went ahead and checked for that domain and this is what came up. So here's the domain that I searched and then right below here are the search results. So it's going to give me a couple of different options. So that domain is available and you get it for $11.99 for the first year. Each additional year it's $14.99, but be sure to click the description below to check the most recent price. And then also it gives you different options for premium domains or different variations of that domain if you don't get an exact match. So we'll go ahead and click on this discount right here, Google AdWords. Once you click on it, It'll bring you to this and that shows the terms of the discount or the credit for Google AdWords. So yeah, that is the Bluehost hosting control panel. Hopefully you found the information useful. Be sure to click the description below for more information and I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.